I'm just going to roll right into your awesome thing, Brian, because that's pretty much on the same page. Awesome. So I brought uh, three awesome things to the to the group because uh, I've been doing uh, my own little journey during uh, not as as uh, intense as yours, Katie, but I've been going through some, uh, I guess, like doing some things with like mental health and, and things like that. And uh, with the new project, PGH Museums, it's a lot of admin work, which I'm terrible at. And if uh, Missy's listening somewhere out there, she'll know with the Milva Music Festival, I would come up with like great ideas, get really smart people around the table, and then I'd let them do all of the admin work while I made fun videos and things like that. So now I had to like do stuff that just like, I, I have a, I struggle to do uh, with ADHD. I have ADHD among a few other uh, neurological disorders. So um, over this year, I've been working on some things and I've come up with, I've been using several different apps that have really helped me kind of get on track and tackle some of these things that I would usually just put off until um, you, you know, if there's a deadline, it's easy to get things done. If not, sometimes I would just put it off, off indefinitely. Um, so one thing is spending. Uh, I'm extremely impulsive with spending. I don't monitor my money at all. If I look at the account and see money's in there, I will spend every last dollar, even if it's on nothing. So there's this app that I uh, downloaded called the Spending App, and I'm able to put in a dollar amount that I want to spend that month. Right now I'm on a $400 budget, so I'll put $400 in there. And every time I buy anything that is uh, discretionary spending, I will put an expense in that app. So then I could then, instead of looking at my bank account and seeing all this money, I'm only seeing 400 and then 300 and then whatever it is through the end of the month. So it's been really helpful with keeping me on track and uh, just not spending everything. Uh, the second app I have is called the Do app. And uh, right here, you'll see a notification on my phone. Uh, the Do app is a great reminder app. It's only available for Mac and, um, and the iPhone. So there's a version for each one. What's great about it is when you put a reminder in the Do app, it will actually send you a new push notification every five minutes indefinitely until you either do the task or reschedule it for a later time. Uh, memory is a big issue with, with ADHD. So like you'll throw laundry in the, in the wash and then you may forget that you did it until you go to do laundry again, uh, things like that, or um, there's all sorts of things that, that can happen. So the do reminder will help you not forget stuff like that. Um, I really love it. What's great on the, the computer version, you can go in there and schedule everything out. You can schedule it uh, a reminder to come out every day, every week, every month, like just certain days of the week. So say you want to, uh, I don't know, work out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but you don't want to work out Tuesday or Thursday. You can schedule it that way where it'll just remind you on those days at different times. So that's really awesome. And also what's great about the Do app is it will actually sync with Siri and your iPhone reminder app. So if you just say, hey, S-word, remind me to go to the grocery store today at 7 p.m. It will then actually send that reminder, not only to your reminder app on your iPhone, but also the do reminder app and continue to remind you every five minutes. The third item that I wanna talk about, and this is really cool, it's called Tile Premium. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the little tile uh, trackers. They're incredible. If you lose something in your house, you can click a button on your phone, or you can ask uh, the A lady or the S lady or whoever, whatever lady you're using to find the item and it will ring and help you locate that item. Or if you leave the house, you can look and see where you left that item last. It'll give you a general idea. Well, with Tile Premium, that takes it to the next level where you won't forget anything because I'm notorious for getting distracted or being in a hurry and leaving something somewhere. I did a documentary this Christmas time, right before Christmas on the nativity crash outside of USX tower. It's the giant three story crash. And I almost lost all of my video equipment, like every piece of video equipment that I own because I went to go eat lunch and someone distracted me and I had planned to bring it with me. And I just left all of my video equipment sitting out on a bench at USX Steel Tower uh, downtown. Luckily, somebody was there and saw it and put it in the little 
little locked room that was there. But with the tile premium, if I had left, it would actually notify me that I left that behind. So that's one of the big features of tile premium. You go anywhere and it'll ding your phone. Hey, you left without this item. You left without your keys. You left without your wallet, whatever it is. Um, and then also every year they send you free battery replacements for all of your uh, tile devices that have replaceable battery options. So you don't have to buy batteries ever again, which is great for me because currently I have nine different tiles that I'm using and I'll be getting at least a couple more. So do you, it's wonderful. Do you have a tile you know, in your wallet? I do. Yeah, I have a tile in my wallet, uh, my journal, my uh, planner. I've got one on my keys, my work ID, my Echo Buds, uh, basically you, everything that I own. You, is it pretty thin? Because that was the one question I had about <clears throat> that device is, do, do you notice it in your wallet? Like, does it add, how many, how many like credit cards thick do you feel like it is? I'm not sure because I actually did not get the wallet version. They have like a thin wallet okay. that's designed for your wallet. I, I think it's supposed to be close to a credit card size. But I have like one of those wallets that has like a gazillion cards and like a, a, a brick and it has a mm -hmm. money clip, but I never carry money on me. So I just put a, a regular tile in that money clip. Okay. So that's, that's how I do it. But yeah, they do have like a thin one that's supposed to be similar to like a credit card where you can just slide it into your wallet. Cool. That's really awesome. Yeah, all of these apps are great. I mean, and the thing is, is like, even if you don't have ADHD, they can be helpful. Um, you know, the tile thing. I mean, most people, you know, everyone loses something sometimes. And, uh, you know, you may not need like nine to, to 10 tile items, but maybe one or two for your really important items. Uh, the spending app, I feel like anybody could use that because whether you have issues with that or not, they don't teach personal finances in school at all. So uh, that's definitely a tool people can use. And uh, the do reminder um, might be a little extreme for some people to be honest, but for <laughs> other people uh, like myself, it's pretty uh, pretty necessary. I, I like, actually I was looking at the, the do reminder and you were talking about it and I, I like it for starting a habit um, which is would be great because you know just a reminder of every day, especially if you get it at the same time. And then the mm -hmm. other thing is like right now, time is just some days just infinite, and I have no clue. Like the only time I really know what day it is is Tuesdays for seven o'clock because that's the only thing that I have set every week. And you know I have a few doctor's appointments or whatever going on in between, but that's like the only day that I know what day it is and having something that kind of reminds you that like, oh, you know, this is the day that you do this and then not having it go off on the weekend whenever. <laughs> oh I yeah. Can... It's, it's wonderful. I mean, with my medication, like I have to take medication every day and um, I will forget completely. Like, you know, if I don't do it, if I don't mark it off on the, the do, cause it reminds me every day, then I, you know, there's times I haven't taken it because I'm like, oh, do I take it or not? Cause I just, can't remember at all so that's like it's helpful for that too oh that's awesome yeah thanks for sharing all those because i think I, I just like i said a lot of there's a lot of just like single feels like just one big long day and having things to help you remember things or where you've left things behind or you know the budgeting thing is so hard for some and myself included so this is mm -hmm. thanks for sharing all these these are great